One comes from Terry and June. Thanks, Terry and June. Father Simon, Matt and Susie, no names to be changed. It was just a little bit of fun. So, obviously... We've changed the names. Changed we changed all the, the names. names, yes. It's December 2015. My long-suffering wife, June, and I... That's Terry. <laughs> yeah. Decided okay. to jump on a train and have a couple of days away. Having endured builders for a couple of months, the small porch and downstairs washroom were now complete. The splash of paint and lights could wait until our return. The plan was simple. Walk to the station, pay a ridiculous amount of money to upgrade to first, and upon arrival at our destination in one of the UK's finest cities, we check into our hotel, then enjoy all that this historical and enchanting city had to offer. And perhaps a spot of lunch on one of the many boats that navigate the river, hmm, on an hourly basis. You know, okay. a little, little edit in there. Oh, I see. Right. The plan needed to be time to uh, the plan needed to be time to perfection to ensure we gained maximum value from our short break. Yes. Obviously, the ideal location to organise with such military precision is the pub. <laughs> Need, so, uh, right. needless to say, of the course. planning took longer than we thought, and when we finally left five hours later, it was completely dark. <laughs> well, that day seemed to get away from us. Mm. My wife, June, slurred. <laughs> attractively. I'm sure. Anyhow, we, we decided to pop back to our hotel and enjoy the sobering magic of a shower before going to a <laughs> restaurant later. <laughs> <laughs> the sobering oh. magic of a shower. And that, Father Simon, is when we saw it. As we stumbled through the narrow, decorated streets, we were strangely drawn to a beautiful apparition of a shop. It had a ready brick glow, if you remember the old TV. Yes. Man. And these drunken moths were pulled towards it. We wandered into the almost closed shop and stood, mouths agog like small gin-soaked urchins. <laughs> it had more lampshades, chandeliers, bulbs flickering pretend candles and light fittings than anyone would ever require. The central till in this beautiful old building was operated by a lady in her late 70s and she greeted us with a warm smile and a wave. How lovely. It's connected by a series of corridors, illuminated wonderment at every turn. As we wandered around, my attention was drawn to a strange-looking light bulb positioned centrally in a large, light, shady thing. That'll be a light shade, <laughs> yeah. presumably, in the centre of the ceiling. Attached to it was a handwritten note. The note said, I'm a Bluetooth speaker. Right. Wow. And so it began. By now, the lovely lady on the till had started to serve another similarly aged lovely lady. Having secreted ourselves in the standard lamp section, iPhone in hand, I connected to the speaker <laughs> and I started to play Michael Jackson's Thriller, which, as you remember... <laughs> sounds a little bit like that. They stared at each other as the echoing footsteps and creaky doors of the track filled the empty shop. <laughs> Did you hear that? said the concerned till lady. Yes, replied the equally worried purchasing lady. They both looked round, neither quite understanding what was going on. I quickly chopped to Ghost Town by the specials. And so that strange sound oh. came out of the speakers. <laughs> Their anxiety seemed to be increasing slightly as my wife June and I <laughs> were crying into our hands. At that point, I decided it was time to lift the mood. And what better way to lift the mood than the dulcet tones of Mr. Buster Blood Vessel? <laughs> so as I cranked up the volume and my giggly partner in crime, my wife June, tried to dance the can-can, Till Lady and her confused customer were joined by a whirlwind of women. Clearly the boss of the shop, she quickly... By a whirlwind of a woman, <laughs> clearly the boss of the shop, she quickly grabbed a stepladder from the back room and switched it off before Buster could entertain any further. It's one of those modern speakers, she barked, whilst folding the ladders and looking with a steely gaze around the shop. Mm. We, fortunately, were hiding behind some extravagant beaded uplighter floor lamps. <coughs> you always need some of those. Yeah. The next day pretty much followed the same plan. Breakfast, plan the day, disregard the plan, go to the pub. In hindsight, we probably shouldn't have returned to the shop. I'm sure they won't have it switched back on. 
how wrong my wife called June was. <laughs> yeah. A different lady on the tills, so a new victim to entertain. Okay. Sadly, we only got a few bars into... <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yes. Come on. Just, oh. just a few bars into Back in Black before the boss literally ran full speed into the shop, <laughs> picking up those stepladders again, clicking them open like a seasoned window cleaner while still moving. She was up the rungs and the speaker was terminated as quickly as a flash. She moved like a cat and the cat was on the hunt for the perpetrator. This now went very badly. Let me explain. See, we don't ask forgiveness from the original Till Lady, bless her, nor do we have any remorse for the confused customer. It was no doubt a story she could tell from now on. Sadly, our state of squiffiness, we hadn't noticed, uh, we hadn't done a suitable recce, failed to notice the only other customer in the shop. Uh huh. We are asking forgiveness from the middle aged Japanese tourist, resplendent in his New York Yankees cap and rucksack. I'm confident that as he was texting someone on his phone, he had no idea that Ladder Lady was marching towards him, <laughs> the obvious culprit. Again, showing an incredible ability to multitask, she dragged him backwards by the rucksack, <gasps> opened the door, and at the same time spun him out into the street while lambasting him for being so rude. Don't darken our doors again. Goodness My wife me. called June and I picked him up from the floor because we thought it was the least I could do, and I handed him his cat before brushing him down. We haven't been back to the shop, but I often look at it with a warm feeling inside as we stumble past on our yearly visit. So hopefully forgiveness awaits. Have an amazing new year. Uh, say Terry and June. P.S. <laughs> we love the show. Which always goes down Aww. very well. Uh, Sister Susie, the voice of authority and responsibility. Oh, Terry and June. Do you know what? I think you were just having a bit of fun. And what I appreciate is that you spent all that time in the pub on the first day organising what you were going to do. Because, you know, we all need a bit of cash in the pubs at the moment. So I think I'm just going to forgive you for that reason alone. Brother from another gutter. I mean, it appears to me they spent this entire weekend either in the pub or in a light bulb <laughs> shop. Yes. I mean, I've had some pretty wild weekends, but uh, never quite uh, hit those heights. Um, I... I have to say the production levels on this confession are out of this world. Yes. Well done. And it is for that reason (laughs) that I choose to forgive.